Hey guys, it's Dark with Cyclone FPV, and today we are going to do a live build uh, on a new frame, a, a custom frame. Sorry, let me turn on my audio. Just kicked on by accident. All right, let me get situated here. So we've got a new frame uh, that we did, a custom frame for a customer, and um, we are going to do a live build today. Probably take a little bit, about an hour and a half or so. Uh, so we'll catch up with you on that. Sorry, I'm just getting everything uh, signed up here or set up. Uh, let me grab the frame real quick. It's kind of, I'm still working on the shop here, so it's a little dirty. Uh, also, I'm going to be testing out a new soldering iron from Xtronic. I just had some stuff sent to me to test out. And I'm uh, going to interrupt this every once in a while to go see what's going on. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Uh, Bryce, uh, Jesse, Jeff, Romeo, what's going on, guys? Uh, <clears throat> all right, so one of the things, I'll switch the camera view here real quickly so we can see what we're working with. Uh, let me get this over here and let's see if I can make this work somehow. All right, so this is the frame that we're talking about. Uh, <clears throat> this is this uh, modified dragon frame. Uh, worked on it for a customer of ours and uh, and uh, we're gonna go do a live build today on it. It was cut at three millimeter in thickness. Uh, the test frame was done in two millimeters. Uh, it was not supposed to be something this big. It was going to be used with smaller motors, but I decided to increase the size. Uh, hey, thanks, Romeo. Yeah, I, I've been I've been tending to some things, so my time's been really crazy lately. Uh, but uh, I'm going to kind of jump on this and see if we can get some stuff going. Um, I do have to. I do need to say though, and I, I, because you guys know my rules about using people's frames or what have you. Um, the initial design of this frame it was sent to me by a customer. Okay, and um, and I, I feel like this is only fair to do this. Uh, the customer sent it to me, and then after looking into it, and, and, and rightfully so, I looked in to see what this picture was, and it turns out that there is a company, a guy, I guess, who made uh, a dragon frame, kind of like this one. I mean, I will, you know, it was his drawing, I guess. Uh, very, very, much smaller, not, some of the details, a lot of them have been changed. The board, I mean, everything has been changed for the most part, except the drawing. I reached out to the gentleman to let him know uh, that we were doing this, and I never heard back from him. Uh, but he sells his frame for $18, so I guess what I'm trying to say is, is I'm trying to not copy somebody's work. Now, this is not a copy of it, but I would say it's more inspired by what was sent to me, which was his. So just putting that out there because um, it's only fair to give credit to the person who, whether you change it or not, there's an initial design, and that was by this gentleman. And so uh, I want to put that out there and make sure that it's clear. Um, and uh, I did tell, you know, basically I, I wrote him to say, hey, listen, I'm going to do this frame. It comes off of your, it, it kind of comes from the drawing that you had. Um, and uh, you sell your small, I think it's like a my tiny whoop or whatever you call them, for like 18 bucks. I was like, I'll give you 18 bucks. I just want to be fair and let you know. Well, I hadn't heard back from him, but I just want to put that out there, okay? Um, all right, so let's not waste any time. So what we're going to do today is we're going to get this going and... I'm going to pull off of the mock version that I did and try to clean up so you can get an idea of, I used this initial one as a layout so you can see the layout so to speak. Uh, I'm going to pull these off and we're going to start cleaning this up and making it look really good. So we'll get started. This was a two millimeter copy that I made initially um, and it needs to, it was too thin but it was easy to at least, uh, uh, you know, test it for size and so forth. And I got to find my screwdriver so bear with me. <clears throat> uh, where the hell is my screwdriver? Here it is. All right. Yeah, I've been moving the shop around and getting some new equipment in, so finding things around here is not as easy as it was uh, prior to. But we're going to make this uh, happen one way or the other. All right. So let me just get going. What's up, David? What's up? What's up? Amy just woke up, Dustin. My God, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, boy. Get up. All right, let's put that over here. find where the last motor went. I don't know where I put the last motor, but we'll find it. 
Now, hopefully, this will turn out. I'm, I'm, on the three mil, I think it's going to be amazing. Um, but uh, again, this was done for layout purposes only, so we're going to see how it ends up, all right, in the process. And so let's see what happens. By the way, happy Friday, everybody. Uh, as most of you know, I took about three weeks off, not from working. I mean, I've been doing work, but I've been working on the shop, preparing for some new things, um, and uh, attending some family stuff. So, yeah, as much as I like to make sure I've got time for everything, sometimes, you know, especially when we're working on the shop here, it's not like there's people here that work here. So, uh, but we are preparing to get our new facility, hopefully. Uh, which will be bigger and more machines and allow us to do some bigger projects too. So cross your fingers. Let's hope it all pans out. Oh, it's not that hot. Come on now. I love it. I, I actually, I took my work outside now. That's what I like about it. All right. So here's the original that was cut. Um, if you want to see, if you want to see like what happens when I make errors, I mean, uh, mistakes, like big mistakes, stupid mistakes. Here's one. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I cut this frame to test it <clears throat> and forgot to put the center holes here. I forgot these. So as you can see, they're all kind of off. I had to drill those. I mean, it's a dumb mistake. And when you do that, it's pretty much ruined. So that really bothered me. But um, the layout was pretty much the same for the most part. Uh, everything looks the same. Uh, one thing that uh, we're going to find out is camera mounting. We may try to go here, but I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to set this aside. That's a two mil frame. It's not, uh, it's strong, but it's not. Uh, what I would want to see. Um, all right, so what I've done here is I have um, selected the HGLRC, and I'm going to go ahead and power up my soldering iron. I'm using, like I said, I'm using a new iron today, guys, so it may be a little, it may be a little tricky. Um, yeah, I mean, I wish I could get my team to come down here. You guys, you know, like, holy crap, could we dominate if we had, I mean, if we had everybody down here running the machines, I mean, we've got We've got big CNC machines coming in. We've got big form uh, molding machines coming in for our carbon fiber molding. I mean, there's a lot of work. We've got a lot of projects. Could sure use the help, <clears throat> hint, hint. Uh, but uh, right now it still remains a one-man show with some help on the side. Uh, no, I, I, we're applying dilution. Is this your design, bro? Oh, okay, so this is... Uh, my design rips off the mode to goes oh well Lucian we'll go ahead and work on your frame when we're done with this I, I do I do owe you that so I'll uh, do it now I mean I'll tell you guys it's kind of like everything else you you are limited on how much you can really modify some things because four motors is four motors you can go with a plus design which or whatever and try to say it's your own thing but at the end of the day we're all kind of sitting in, sorry I'm looking for something here one second what the hell am I looking for I was looking for Shit, I forgot. Oh. Try and do too much. All right, well, let me just get started. Oh, yeah, no, no. See, as soon as I picked it up, I realized it. Hold on. Gotta get my old man goggles. <clears throat> and I found my zoom in thing. We're gonna try these ugly goggles. We're gonna see if they work. We'll see. But, uh, my God, look at this. Woo! Do my eyeballs look big? I, I don't know. Uh, let's see what happens when I use this one. God, help me with this. I don't want y'all looking at my face when I'm wearing this. This is terrible. Let's try that. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what happens. Holy Urkel, this is crazy. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, so that's out. Let's try something else. i got to get something here. Ah, that may work. All right. Now we're cooking with grease. Let's see if we got this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Let me see how. Oh my God, I can't, I can't show you what this looks like. It's that bad. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these real quick. Hopefully this iron does well. Uh, it looks like it doesn't, the tip doesn't get as hot maybe as the other one, but we're gonna see. Anyways, I broke my solder iron and I contacted Xtronic and they were cool enough to get me uh, taken care of with this. Uh, actually, I got three new soldering machines in, and so, um, but, you know, when you use one that you're used to, none of them actually end up performing like the one that you're used to, so I'm trying to get used to this. Besides, I had some uh, small circuits to replace, so I need to get a new iron with a finer tip, 
and this is driving me nuts. So let me crank up the temperature on this thing just a little bit. <clears throat> All right. See, this would have already been done by now. This is going to drive me nuts. Let's go. Let me move this uh, light controller real quick. Carefully, so I don't rip the pins off. There we go. Yeah, this this is not. This sucks. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, this thing is supposed to be. My other one would have already been done. This this is a piece of shit. What am I gonna do here? Um. Let me see. Oh, darn it. The last thing I need is equipment that doesn't work. Well, you know what? We'll just crank it up more. Hell, if it doesn't work, just make it hotter. Eventually, it'll work, I guess. Yeah, that's true. I can't say cooking with fire. You're exactly right. I can't say, man, this drone is the bomb. These are phrases that I can't say. You guys can say it. I won't say it. What I can say is that this piece of crap soldering iron isn't working anymore, and I'm not happy about it. How's that sound? I mean, I've already increased it 20 more degrees to start melting this thing, and it's still stubborn. What a pain in the ass. Look at this. I mean, that's terrible. This is going to slow me down quite a bit, so I'm going to have to try to find the, uh, hopefully, the tip that was on here before and see. And then reach out to Xtronic and find out what the heck is going on. Look at this, it's just sitting on here. I've already tinned it, I've already put the solder on it, I've already done everything I can. I've... All right, well, finally, after 10 minutes, this is now off. Now I gotta clean this up, and hopefully it'll clean at least. Yeah, it looks like it'll clean. This is not good, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, while that's getting ready, piece of crap, let's, See, let me put my old man goggles away here. Let's see what we got. All right, so I'm going to try and find this damn tip that I used. Uh, and it should look like crap because I didn't take care of it, which is probably why it works so good. Uh, but I can't find it. Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this one. That's not it either. Wonderful. Looks like I'm screwed, so we'll just go with that. All right. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to grab the components and get started. Uh, let me go ahead and get started with that. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the um, everything on here because it, this was laid out for a test run and not for a final. So we'll see. Tarek, we're going to get you flying. So God, I hope so, man. That's all I need is I'd like to fly. But uh, unfortunately, now I'm stuck trying to figure out how to get my solder machine to work properly. Every time I think I got time, something happens. Look at this. We're just going to count to 20 here and see how long it takes. I mean, this is ridiculous. All right, we're going hotter. Cranking it up to 390. I mean, this thing's, my hand will catch on fire before this thing melts. God darn it. I don't want to have to do this, but let's see. Let me see how quickly this thing goes. Look at this. It's not, it may look quick to y'all, but that's not quick at 380. That's, that's pretty bad. Let's see if we can just kind of spark it up a little bit. What a piece of crap. Well, I guess we could always Chernobyl this thing. Ah. <sighs> What? You want to know? So <laughs> Shut up. I don't know how to fly. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Be quiet. Although Lucian, Lucian is funny. I'm not even going to. It's not, it's not possible. Look at this, guys. All right. So instead of wasting time, um, I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off, this piece of crap. And uh, we're going to go ahead and try something different with trying not to burn the hell out of myself. Let's do this. Hey, I use an old trick, which is to 
Go ahead and just burn the solder off. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I bet y'all believe that too. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. You gotta admit, that was kind of funny. All right, let me see if I can get this one to work without burning myself. Come on, that was funny. Oh God, this is where bad things happen right here. Ooh, it's hot. Sorry for the delay, folks, but I really don't have a choice here. It's either that or we're going to be here for 10 hours trying to get this thing to work. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. God darn it. All right, let's see if this has any better results. Maybe it's the iron and not the tip that's working. Yeah, I know. I'm trying not to, but this is driving me crazy. Let's see what happens. I got about 10 of these to go through. I think maybe it's the actual um, iron itself. I think it's a different model and it's not supposed to be, but might be. That might, might not be the right model for this, so let's see. All right, everything else looks good. Let's see where we're at. We always have our trusty lighter, which is not a good idea. Here we go. Here we go. We're back to business, hopefully. Trusty lighter, dragon, and soldering iron. Whoa, now I gotta turn that down. Let me just see what happens here. Well, at least it's consistent. It sucks. This is terrible. I'm really sorry. I mean, this is what I get for hoping things work out properly with this shit. So let me go to a different tip here. Nope, 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 nope. Maybe I'll try this one. Yeah, I can own I can own the lighter. It's just not much I can do with it, but I can own the lighter. Let me see where we're at. Let me try this one more time. I just have to register. Like you guys have to register your guns. I have to register my lighters. Yeah, this this is I mean I'm fumbling with it because it should have this is super hot. It should have burned through already. Now it's I don't think it's reaching the temperature it's supposed to, but it's hot. I can assure you of that. Put this here, put this here, turn this off, and let's try this one. I kind of don't know shit anymore. So this has been really fun. <sighs> All right, let's try this again. Let me see where we're at. Oh, well, that seems hot, so let's see. I guess we're just gonna work with this for now and I'll just try to lay on the whole damn iron if I can because this is definitely sucking. All right, we're gonna to go to, I swear to God. All right, I just wanna get this job done at this point and we'll deal with Xtronic later. But this is definitely, this is 40 degrees hotter than I would run it and this is not melting. Shit, bunch of crap. All right, let me just try to clean this up now. All right, now it looks like we've got some heat going. Oh, it's hot as hell now. It's kind of dark. So 
So I got the new set of soldering iron from them, uh, a couple different ones, and I like Xtronic. They're, they're my, probably my favorite brand, but this is a little mind-blowing here for me. But we'll let it we'll let it heat up a little bit. All right, so here we are, finally. Um, hey, Mama. Oh, did you find out about the tire? Yeah, it's right. Okay. All right, Bubba. I love you. Drive Thank safe. You. There goes my wife's here. Bye. Oh, they can't see you because I turned the front camera off. <laughs> Bye, Mama. Drive safe. All right, let's get back to work, shall we? Okay. All right, so we've got our motors, which are here. Um, and I believe that they are going to, we are going to be able to cut them. So let's go ahead and start estimating the um, length of the motor wire. Uh, so we will take the motors one, two, and we're going to run them along the perimeter, I guess. So some of these may not be able to be cut. We'll check real quick. This one may be the one in question. If I turn it. Yeah, it should work. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let's get the motors mounted so we can get an idea of how uh, long we want these wires to be, okay? Uh, Sam's gone now. <laughs> she actually was helping me with the uh, molding yesterday and it came out really well. So she's really pumped and gonna help me uh, before we start doing some more carbon fiber molding um, and some uh, resin molding for our new frames. So this is gonna be pretty neat. So she's on a mission to go get some of the material uh, until the shipment arrives. So thank you Hobby Lobby for your help. All right. I don't think she really wants to help me. I think it just gives her a reason to go to Hobby Lobby. But either way, I appreciate it. Yeah, Ricardo, the troubleshooting, you're going to you're gonna see more because I'm usually not practicing the build before I do it. This way we can all see the screw-ups, which I don't care. I mean, my God, if you think that screw-ups don't, if people think screw-ups don't happen, they, I think they've lost their mind because there's definitely a full share of screw-ups going around here. So, that's part of the business. This is not the normal screwdriver I would use. But these screws that I ordered, these M2s are interesting. Or, sorry. Yeah, the M2s, they're interesting because they do not use the standard uh, um, screwdriver, uh, the standard hex bit. So I am stuck using this older one, but it serves the purpose. It's just not the one I like. <coughs> Yeah, I hope it does. I mean, like, my gosh, I, that's the whole idea, right? We try to help everybody. All right, let me find my last motor. I have no idea where it went, so I don't want to have to open a new one if I can avoid it. But let's see. I have a motor here somewhere. Just don't know where it went. Maybe it's this one. Hold on. Let me see if this will work. Could be this one. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, like, um, you know, if, if it, like I said, if it can help somebody, man, let's do it, you know, I mean, <clears throat> that's the idea, but at the same time, it may help them to see me screw up because that usually makes it to where, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't feel so bad if you screw up, if you know that somebody who does this every day screws up. So that's why, like, when I can't dunk on a 10 foot rim, I go and I watch some of the guys miss their dunks who are like seven feet tall. And I'm like, okay, I'm okay. If they can miss, I can miss. Although my problem is I'm too short. Still, still makes me feel good. All right. So there we go with that. Let's get the screws out of here. Okay, so we are just going to put the motors in and cross, uh, you know, just do a cross, uh, 
use the uh, alternating angle for the screws. I'm going to try to take this off right now because I'm not going to be using this color. All right. So let's do that. And now we can get an idea of how we want to lay out these motors and how long the wires need to be, right? So <clears throat> here's our ESC. And we know that the board is going to be offset, right? It's not going to be facing forward. And so the decision will be to either turn the board uh, this direction or this direction. And the reason we do that, right, just to show you, just to explain it, is this is the, the arrow on this board is pointing forward, which is this direction, right, right now. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. Um, see if this helps. Okay, so um, the problem is, is that because of that, if you were to set this board up that way, these props will strike it the minute it goes, right? But if you turn it, you gain yourself uh, a little bit of angle here. So by, in theory, I, this quad's a little different because it is a little bit bigger in the center, but you would offset the board at an angle just so that you can gain that extra distance so the prop can clear. Now in this case, it's a bigger prop, so if I really bring this up, it probably wouldn't make much of a difference. It may strike it, it may not, but it's not gonna go that high. But if you do it like this, you can guarantee that you're gonna clip the corner. All right, if it was going that high. So that's why the board's being offset, and we'll show you in Betaflight how to do that. Um, so we're gonna probably turn the ESC this way. Your options are to turn it this way or this way. I'm gonna go ahead and go this direction, which means that my, um, uh, my USB is gonna be accessed at this angle, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and start mounting that. <coughs> fours well I can tell you what I've got um, what do I have here because I've got a shipment of motors from coming in today actually um, I think the uh, I still have some T motors um, I still have some T motor uh, F10s uh, which are available and they are at a huge discount so if you go on the website you can find those uh, I won't be getting them again it's not going to be a motor that I sell again so um, get them while you can at that price because uh, after that, that's it, all right? Um, but yeah, the F10s have been selling uh, a lot lately because I discounted them. So uh, see if you can uh, uh, jump on that deal while they're still available, that may help you. I would show you the link, but my hands are tied right now. Uh, but here, I, can, I do have an open set. I can sh at least show you what they look like. Hold on. This is the F10. So these are the ones I use for testing. All right, and uh, these are, what are these, uh, 6,000 KB. Oh no, these are F15, sorry, but the F10s look very similar. They're both the same color, so um, yeah. So give that a shot, and like I said, right now you can get them a hell of a deal. Uh, I think we're the cheapest online for those, but, uh, um, but that's, uh, you know, see, see, see what you can do, and if you can make that work for you, go for it. You'll be very happy with that, I think. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna put the receiver under here or not at this time, so, um, but I think that this will clear if I do. The only question is, I put these slots in here and I'm hoping that the, re uh, the binding pin can show. So if I was to fit this under here, let me just check and make sure. If I fit this under here, uh, I think with a fine, yep, I can get that to show. All right, so let's do that. And let me make sure that this clears it first. Uh, maybe a little. I'm gonna to have to increase it a millimeter. So let me just put a millimeter spacer on and then we can save ourselves some space and make this work hopefully. And we still have to figure out how we're gonna do the cameras and everything else. So this is gonna be an interesting little fun experiment, okay? All right, now this should clear, I think with the one millimeter. So let me check that now. Yep, that looks good. And we can get the binding pin, or the binding button to show through this slot right here. And then all we have to do now is worry about the antennas, which I will probably run down one of the arms or something, one of the wings there. Um, so let me get the glue gun ready. Let me make sure everything is working here. Yep. Oh, you know what? Um, no, no, no. This. 
try to remember. I think this customer wanted a R9 uh, R9 receiver, so I may have to just change that out anyway. Go ahead and get that real quick. <coughs> doing the R9 updates as well and uh, I forgot about that I forgot that's what he's using so we're gonna go ahead and do that and there's definitely I don't need a one millimeter standoff then I know this is gonna fit so let's go ahead and do that we'll set this aside so we take this off the board now watch this solder just like burn through everything hold on one two come on three still not the way I want it but Okay, that's going to be good. Uh, yeah, uh, Dustin, on the props, um, I told you I, I'm going to be running a huge sale on this. I think I was talking about it. Anyways, so I finally sorted out the 34,000 props that I have, something like that, 34,000, 32,000, whatever. They're sorted out and um, they are ready to be discounted. So I'm gonna do like, um, oh, I don't know, like, uh, let me see. Maybe 100 props for 10 bucks. It's gonna be something crazy. I've gotta get these out of my house, right? I mean, they're taking up too much room. I mean, 30,000 plus props takes up a lot of room. All right, give me one second, guys. I'm gonna go get my transmitter. I'll be right back because I've gotta program that uh, mini. So give me one second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. God, I had to use an R9M, so I need to do the update the firmware. Let me go ahead and grab that real quick. Okay. Sorry, guys. This is what happens when you go live sometimes. All right, so let me go ahead and power this up. And let's see what we got. Welcome to the TX. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, welcome. Let me get the, the wires for it. By the way, um, I was at Home Depot a couple days ago, and they have an awesome tool set at HQs. I have, uh, I don't know, I mean, I got HQs. I got a bunch of them. I got about 800 of them, I think, 700 of them in stock. Um, yeah, but I'll go and check to see what I've got. Uh, I was at Home Depot and they have an awesome rolling toolbox um, with pegboard, the drawers, everything. It's awesome. It really is. Uh, and it was $127. Right now it's $69. And I was going to buy them. The problem is, is i got to stop buying stuff. And my wife you know, pointed that out to me. So, But if you guys need a workbench, I would tell you that this would be ideal. It will hold all your quads, the pegboard right in front of you. It's mobile. It's very small. It's you know, about maybe three, two, two and a half feet wide. Um, but it's ideal. So if anybody's looking, I will tell you that they've discounted those for some reason and they're, you know, it's the uh, Husky brand. So it's got a lifetime warranty, I believe. Um, jump on in there if you're looking for something. It would be a great, uh, great play, a great thing to use to work on your quads. Okay. Uh, yeah, they were the screw-on props, Dustin. That's right. I've got a bunch of those I wanted you to try out. Um, so uh, i got to put my glasses back on. I can't see this crap. Hold on. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do this firmware update while we're doing this. One, two, and three. So that's on there.
All right, well, that's writing. There we go. Yeah, send me a picture, man. I, I like looking at what everybody does as far as their work goes. So, yeah, be sure to send it to me. I'd love to see it. Uh, without a doubt. All right, that's going to be good. That's not going to be needed. Still got my trusty lighter. It's over here. And wait for our firmware to flash, and then we're ready to get this mounted. Glue gun is turned on and cooking. Um, let me see, what else can I tell you what we did? Uh, did our form molding. That was pretty cool. Uh, so our new resin um, casts are going to be ready. And that's it. I guess. Hmm. Just looking around, see what we got. Oh my God, these glasses. All right, hurry up here. Let's go. All right, cool, man. I appreciate it. I'll check it out. For sure. For sure, for sure. Oh, I know. Somebody wanted to see this frame, so let me show you this. A couple of y'all had asked me yesterday uh, when I was doing the cut to show you this frame again. So this was the frame. This is one of the frames uh, that was out there. This is the, um, the, the uh, slammed version of the Genesis XL, Drone Zen Edition. Um, it's, it's 10 millimeters tall. It's got space for dual boards, uh, dual stacks. Uh, and this has the 5, millimeter, or five inch and the 7 inch arms. Um, uh, so yeah, somebody had asked to show this. I can't remember who it was, but I said I would show it during the thing. So there you go. That's, uh, that's it right there. Um, hope that helped. So I guess a little bit. All right, let's get going here. Put this over here, and now we'll go ahead and prep the... Where the hell did I put it? this up real quick. I'm going to start dropping this temperature and see if I can still get this to function properly. Ooh, that's hot. Sorry guys, I'm just looking for some wiring. Everything's been moved and I can't figure out where I put everything. Alright, so this is the kind of crap that drives me nuts is I've moved the wiring. I'm finding it. It'll be here in a second. But uh it, trying to find this damn thing is impossible. So let me just grab some other wiring and get going. Let's not waste any time. All right, darn it. Next time I will organize better. I will use this thick wiring. Oh, God help me. For right now. Don't have time to worry about this. This is too thick. I can't use that. Where the 
notice something. Oh, here. I'll use this. Perfect. Here we go. Darn it. Trying to find anything in this damn place is impossible when you start moving things around. But I think we're in good shape now. So let me go ahead and just get this ready. What is SSDD? I don't even know what that is. What does that mean? Same shit. Oh, I don't know all these damn things, man. You guys are having whole conversations there, and I have no idea what it means. I gotta talk to my kids. They teach me all these things. I don't think they know that though. I hope they. Don't. Ooh, I got some new tweezers to try. Let's see if these work. God, if, can anything work today? I hope this is not the time to be testing new stuff. I guess. Ooh, these suckers are sharp. Dang. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh, that's good, I guess. Mm, probably not the best for this, though, because you can't really get a good enough grip on the wire, but I'm still going to try them anyway. But yeah, they're pretty good. These tweezers are good. They hurt. Well, God darn. Gotta try new things, so here goes. What? They're good enough. Yeah, I know, right? That's what I need. Cyclone tweezers. So, uh, that's all I need. And then somebody pokes themselves with it, and it's the cyclone lawsuit. These are good, though. I mean, they're cool. I also got some ceramic ones in that I got to try out. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, the cheapy ones are probably the best. It's usually the way it goes anyway. All right, let me just get to getting this ready. Get our long range receiver put in place. I don't know why I cut this uh, heat, heat shrink so big, but screw it. It'll be good. More protection, I guess. All right. There we go. Now to find I swear I can't find.
Ooh, that's too hot. I forgot I was doing chip removal with this thing. <laughs> it's about 160 degrees Celsius too hot. Hold on one second. I'm wondering why my sticker was melting over here. All right, there we go. All right, that'll work. Okay, finally now we can get back to what the heck we were supposed to be doing. All right, so we are gonna lay this out like so. And let me just make sure. Get all this crap out of the way. Throw this out and see where we're at. Okay, so flight controller, board's gonna go on this route. Flight controller is gonna go on this way. And here is our connection. So I will go ahead and bring this around and hopefully have enough. Yeah, that should work. So let's just do that. Get some hot glue down here. And make sure to get that button to where it can be set. Hmm. Uh, let me see where I'm at with this. Uh, glue gun, I, uh, I got a good one on Amazon. I got a couple of them. Um, I'm not sure what happened to this one because uh, it doesn't hold the glue stick in. Like if it sits in an angle like this, right? Like I, I always hang them like this on the hook. Uh, these don't stay in anymore unless they're already into the, um, what do you call it, the little chamber area. And it wasn't like that when I got it, but it is now. So, But I do like that heat gun. It was cheap, pretty fairly inexpensive. I'm not too happy about the way this is going to mount to access that pin. But um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I should still be able to reach it considering it's much smaller. I should still be able to reach it even when it's mounted. But let me just verify that so I can get going with this. Nope, that's not going to happen. All right, great. So we will go ahead and just, uh, let me just offset it back here a little bit, actually. Let me see if I do that. Or flip it. Maybe I'll just flip it. I think if I'm flipping it, I can get to it. Yep, all right, so I'll just flip it and do that. All right, let's just get going. Perfect. There it is. I can see the bind button. I don't know if you all can see that, but right through that slot right there is a bind button. So we're set. That comes out well. And I'll let that cool off. And what I will do is I will run this wire here. Where can you get the extra tips for the heat gun? The one I got, Ace. Oh, um, it, you know, it depends on your heat gun because these tips are, are fit this heat gun, but I'm not sure they fit all of them. Um, but uh, go to Xtronic, go to Amazon, uh, check out Xtronic's website out. Uh, I like all their product, but, uh, or else just go to Amazon. That's, that's pretty much where I would order it anyway. But uh, some heat guns have an indention in them for specific tips and some don't. Just make sure you know which one uh, you need. Um, send me a picture and I'll help you find them if you need. Okay, let's get this to cool. I need my aerosol can, so hold on one second. If you don't want to wait for your hot glue to cool, a little quick way to do that. All right, so we're looking good. Let's go ahead and get our ESC mounted. And that looks good, except for the wire. I need this to get down just a little bit, so let's heat that back up. Get that glue a little hot so we can move this wire down just a little bit. There we go. So let me just go ahead and do that real quick. Okay. 
Dustin, you getting up? Uh, Aaron, I guess. I mean, you know, it's it. Yeah, I mean, it it would be something that if people want one, I I guess I really feel like I need to um, try to reach out again to the guy that drew it and make sure that there's no issues with that. But yeah, I mean, if if uh, if people want the frame, I'll be more than happy to. I mean, uh, that's not a problem at all. I, I like the frame. It's actually pretty cool. I think it's a pretty neat uh, look. And But uh, I do want to make sure that um, I've made every effort to try to reach the guy again. Make sure that there's no problems. All right, making sure that this reaches. And you know what? I just don't think... These two aren't going to work, so let me see. This one will. These two won't work. Um, well, it's going to be a little short, I think. Let me just check. And we'll go ahead and get this one done. So this is going to wrap around to here. So we can make this wire considerably shorter. Let's just go like this. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, you know, basically, if you come up with something, um, and you know, you want it to, I mean, like, the gentleman wanted a dragon drone. I mean, it was, it was cool. Uh, you get me a drawing, and then I'll lay out the specifics for the drone itself, like what has to be. All I need is the drawing, and then what I'll do is I'll take your drawing, I'll redraw it in CAD, right, and make sure that all the dimensions are equal. Make sure everything's laid out properly, and once that's done. The rest of it's just a matter of getting the job done. So, you know, you guys, the, the possibilities are endless. If people want to come up with something, I mean, I'm more than willing to put it on the computer and try it. Um, I think it makes it a little more fun, actually. And to be honest with you, uh, I don't think there's going to be any performance loss on something like this by any means. I think it's going to fly great. <clears throat> and I think it's going to perform just as well as any other quad. Um, it's just a cool, unique design. So, do you know what weave they use to make the frame? Uh, in what regard? I, ma I made the frame, so I'm trying to make sure. Are you talking about uh, angle-wise? It's a 0-90, um, if that's what you're referring to, and the frame was turned 45 degrees for that. Um, that is a 3K uh, twill uh, carbon fiber, if that helps. I'm just wondering if that's answering your question. So if I'm not, let me know and I'll get more specific. Oh yeah, of course, man. If you want to design a five inch ducted frame, let's do it. Um, a lot of the designs that people come up with or a lot of things that people bring to my attention, we have already started something very similar. So introducing it and then trying to incorporate is usually pretty simple. I mean like, uh, so just let me know and we'd be more than happy. I'll work with you. Um, but everything here is, you know, all the carbon fiber is done here in-house as far as cutting and uh, laying it out and stuff. And then we also have our own carbon fiber that we mold, make and mold, but it's not really for this use. But, uh, yeah, give me your design and, and uh, we'll make something happen if we can. All right, so now let's find a, uh, let's see, we'll go with... Red? Is red a good color for this, you think? I'll go with red. Let's try that. Let's do red and see what happens. And we will run this. Actually, these wires are going to be so short, it may not even be helpful to use. Maybe just a little bit. Oh, I got this new thing from Banggood. Hold on, I'm going to show you guys this. It's pretty cool. I picked them up. I picked about 100 of these up. Hold on. Why can I not find anything when I'm looking for it? 
this is cool. I, I was, this would be a great time to actually try these little heat things that I got. And it's funny because Banggood's very smart about this. It's like they took their leftover uh, heat shrink and decided to sell it. And I got some. And I can't find a damn thing. But hold on. I'm not find my wire. I really want to find this heat shrink. So give me one second because I wanted to try it out. <coughs> scratch that idea too until I can find where I put them but uh, it was really cool they looked like little pieces that were already cut pretty much like scraps and I mean I had I ordered like a hundred of them and I can't find one of them this is the story of my life right now I can't find a damn So I picked these up off Banggood. Check these out, right? These are really cool. Um, so it's like uh, somebody over at Banggood said, hey, look, we have all this scrap heat shrink. Let's sell it and make money. And they did. And there you go. And I'm one of the suckers that bought it. But these are pre-cut. And it actually happens to be probably the right length for this. So why not? We're going to give it a shot. Let's see what happens. These also really look like they're going to be good for doing... Um, uh, soldering like uh, you know when you put two wires together and you're doing two wires. Now I gotta open this properly so let's see what happens. We'll use yellow. Why not? Anyways this looks like it might be pretty cool and this avoids me from having to cut and it looks like they're 10 millimeters in length which is usually ideal for most uh, uh, wire you know like when you're joining two wires together and it happens to be a good width for this size motor wire so let's give it a shot and see what happens. So if I put this here, that should allow me to zip tie it right there. So that's going to be good. There you go. Problem solved. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. Blue. Now you tell me. Oh, man. Hold on. Blue? Blue. We'll go blue. There we go. Let's go ahead and mount this and see how it works. All right, let's do that, and then let's put something like this.
gonna go with the old school uh, tweezers for this. gonna help me either, but let me see. Well, we'll have to see. I don't think I like the way that's sitting, but for the build, I may just leave it like that for now. And then just see, I've got to make those. Let me see what options I'm left with at the end here. Let's just get this on for the time being. All right, so there's that. Don't like it. Yes, I will be flying at the test. Uh, maybe in a second video. I don't know right now um, because I am running into more hassles with this than I was expecting. So I'm trying to now. <sighs> change the way I was mounting this and probably go mounting underneath the board. This is going to make me go nuts. Oh yeah, well, that's much better. All right, so that is gonna work. It looks like that's how the motors are all gonna have to be. So mounted from the bottom will be fine. So the next one will be this one. This is gonna be fun. Well, the tweezers, I like them. The problem is, is um, I really like the reverse tweezers better, you know, the ones where if you let them go, they kind of close on the item that you're working with. I like those, but they don't get a good enough grip. And then some of these, 
when you use the flux, the flux gets onto them and then it becomes slippery and you can't hold the damn wire and it's one thing after another. So I was trying to get a couple different things, especially because I'm doing a lot more small chip soldering and <clears throat> needed some that could grip the chips properly. And uh, so I got a new pair and I do like them uh, for that, but I'm not really sure that they're gonna work for this. All right, so let's see, that should fit fine. So let me go ahead and fasten this one down. This is gonna be a very, I thought this would be quick, but boy, this is gonna drive me nuts, I think. to be soldered this. this is where it's going to get a little funky for me so let's see if I can make this work Alright, so that works, and I'll go to the next one. <laughs> That'll be a tight fit, so let me see how I do this now.
Sorry guys, there is a, about a one millimeter gap that I need to cover here real quick, so apologize. Again, this is the kind of crap that I deal with on a build that I am not used to doing. So let's see if we can adjust this one wire, which will give us the one millimeter that we need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see if that gives me what I need. Yes, much better. Much better. All right. So we have this one here, which should be very fairly simple to do, although so far I, I have been wrong about each one of them. But let's see what we got. Should be simple. I mean, it can't be that difficult, but watch. Something is bound to not give on this properly, but we'll see. God darn it. Ready? So we'll have to get used to this soldering iron. God darn it. It's just not what I'm used to. But this should fit good, and it does, so that's going to work. So that's good. All right, so last one will be this one here. This is going to be interesting because these wires are barely going to reach, I think. No, they'll be fine.
Steve's back. That's great. Hey, man. Hey. They had it, huh? Oh, they had a couple different sizes. Too. Maybe that'll help you. What's that? Like a metal. Oh, yeah, that might be good. If you can handle it, yeah, that'd be yeah. great. And then, big, I got these three That's big perfect. ones, and then I got these three. Thanks, Mama. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, you want to do me a big favor? Like, huge favor. Yeah. Like, on a 1 to 10, it's a 10. You need a coffee. Man, that and a cold drink. Okay. Please. Thanks, Mama. You're welcome. Uh, don't you drop them? Yeah, yeah. I just let them right there. Right. Love you, babe. I love you. Thanks, babe. Ooh, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, finally. Fine. Hey, Dustin, welcome back. Welcome back, sir. So I, have we all figured out if we have a tropical storm or a hurricane or whatever coming uh, to our area? I have yet to figure out if they're saying it is or is not, but I would like to prepare accordingly. Anybody heard anything about it? Just curious.
Hey, Paul. Guys, this is Paul. Paul, this is your quad. Nice to, uh, nice to have you, bud. It's giving me a, it is a pain in the butt. I will tell you that right now. So forgive me if I go silent. It's because I'm getting frustrated trying to fit all this on this design, but it's going to come out awesome. It's just kicking my butt a little bit. Just got to get this one piece over. Yeah, that's what I thought. It looked like Louisiana was getting it, but I just couldn't tell, really. I was trying to figure that out. Oh, man. This is where being a person who cares about a one millimeter difference drives me nuts because I cannot put that spacer on there knowing that it's not exactly the right size. So now we have to remove, remove it. So we'll remove each of these. And guys, I'll tell you, um, it may take me a little bit longer, but I'm really specific about not letting something slide. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. These are the one millimeter spacers I wanted to use to offset the board, right? Problem is, is, and it's not really a problem, I just don't like it. The problem that I noticed is that it is hitting, it is pressing up against the board. And it's not going to cause a problem, but uh, I don't like the way it feels when I'm tightening it down. It just doesn't look right. So I'm going to go ahead and take them off and go with something like this instead. I get the same uh, thing out of it, but most people don't have uh, those sized um, spacers. So if you don't have them, then you would kind of be stuck, but uh, I need to see what happened here. Bear with me a second. Okay, so these two I don't like. I will readjust these accordingly. And we'll put these spacers on. One, two, three, Sometimes it's a preference thing, but you know, sometimes it's just a feel like you can tell it may not be the, you know, now that fits perfect. That feels much better. So that's what we're going to go with. I'm sorry guys, I'm not able to read the comments right now because I am trying to finish this, so I apologize if anybody's asked anything that I can't get to, but I will try to get back to it later. And now I'm going to redo these because I do not like the way these sit. Once I see the whole thing come together, this is not ideal. So we're going to take these off and do them the other way. Now I don't think these damn tweezers are terrible. Soldering iron. Well, I tell you what, this is a day testing my patience. But well, that's all right.
<sighs> All right. Let's hope this will go. This should allow it to function without issue. Uh, everything else looks good. So let's get to the next level, okay? Which finally will be doing the flight controller. So let's go ahead and start mounting the flight controller. And already I see one issue, but I think I can take care of that pretty quickly. And that will be the, <coughs> let's see, those are, which screws did I use? These are, let me see something here real quick. Sorry guys, I know I'm not really saying much, which is probably peaceful for you guys, but right now this frame, because I've never built on it before, is really, really a bit challenging on how I'm going to get these things to fit, so bear with me. I guess I don't want to lose my concentration on this. The key is to make sure that it's all done properly, and so far I've made two errors in it that I had to catch, so I don't want to keep making errors. I definitely don't want to affect the quality of this build so bear with me a little bit wrong screws wrong motors or motor uh, orientation and i think now those are taken care of but now we've got to increase the height because there's no way that stack is going to fit with those screws Last screw to change out. And we are on the home stretch now. Everything else is pretty simple after this, so should be okay. Just don't feel comfortable. Didn't feel comfortable with that setup, so. All right, there we go. Oh, finally. Okay, now I'll put these ones back. I don't know where they go, so I'll just drop them. All right, now, now we can continue.
Well, that's going to come out nice. That'll be really good, actually. Hey, uh, Paul, I don't know if Paul's still watching. Paul, if you're watching, will you let me know if you wanted uh, XT30 or XT60 connector on this? Uh, it would help me a little bit to know that now. But uh, if I don't hear from you, I'll just do the XT30, I guess. Take it from there. second guys I need to pull something up here I want to see where I'm going to put this capacitor. Sorry guys, I just wanted to check on that. Make sure I had room, and I do. So let me see if I can make this fit without any issues. fell out of the bag. It's just kind of reinforces the kind of day I've been having. There. That's nice.
Oh, Paul, I see you're back. Um, the connection for your battery, are you using the XT30 by any chance or using XT60s? Do you know? That is the one thing I need to know before I solder on the battery connector. If you're unsure, then just tell me what kind of battery you're using or send me a picture or something and I can at least make sure that I match this, the, the type. Okay. I'm going to throw this soldering iron out at the end of the day, I think. I've had enough. This is ridiculous. Tell you what, I'm about to give up on it. There's something loose on this thing, and I can't figure out what it is, but I'm really not liking the soldering iron today at all. But, all right, all right, Paul, let's see, what'd you say? Yes, yeah, 60, okay. Well, Dustin, you might just end up with it because I've about had enough of this, this iron. I mean, I'm really, I mean, you know, soldering iron is like, I depend on it to be really awesome and, and so far the one I've had has been awesome. The fact that it broke last week, I was expecting to at least be able to replace it and all I've got is this junk, I guess. And I, 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 hey, I try not to talk crap about it, but my god, this thing has been nothing, nothing good out of this new soldering iron. The base is still good, the workstation, the rework station is still fine, but the soldering iron, the iron itself, is terrible. It pisses me off because you spend good money and you want shit to work. It's not asking much to have shit work. Here I am spending more time soldering than I have on any build. This damn thing won't work.
think it's I think the temperature is off on it to be honest with you I think the temperature is off by uh, 10 degrees I'm fairly confident that that is what I'm experiencing is the temperature being off so I'm just gonna try to raise the temperature and finish this build good lord that is a huge inconvenience Sorry guys, I'm getting extremely frustrated right now with this, this Xtronic setup and it's causing me some serious delays here. I mean, I should be dying when it touches me. This should be really burning and it's not burning that bad. So something's up and I'm not happy with it. Let me see if I can just go this way. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I mean, that only took 20 minutes to do something simple. Pat it with this thing. Extra, I can take this shit back. Pat it. God darn it, I've had it. Uh, cannot work. Guys, give me a second. I will find another solution. But this is pretty much, I've had it with this damn brand. Ah, darn it. Pain in the ass this thing is. Three hundred and sixty degrees Celsius, and I can screw it all with my hands. There's something wrong with the damn thing. Oh, all right, sorry, I'm frustrated because I don't like the crap you pay for. It doesn't work. That's my rant. I'm on a rant today. All right, now, I did find the old tip just now when I was about to throw everything out, and so I'm going to see if I can get that to work at least.
Uh, on mine, I usually keep mine at about 360, and I do, I don't know, probably, well, I can't even tell you how many soldering jobs I do. There's a ton, but for some reason, uh, the original machine that I used broke, and now I cannot get anything to function on this new one, and I am struggling and about to throw in the towel on this and just tell them to take it back. It is frustrating. It makes no sense. I'll come back to it. Oh, damn it. This is unbelievable. Alright, so you said XT60, right? Let me go ahead and get that done at least. Oh, my god. <sighs> okay, so the battery's gonna be running this way, so let me try to put the XT60 here. See if we can get this to solder at least. I'll deal with the capacitor later. Mm, look at that. We have solder again. All right, so that will be the beginning of our connection. I need to clean that up, but that gives us our XT60. And I may just move the capacitor over to here for the time being because I am not going to get any progress from this other one. So let me just do that. See if I can make it like that.
<sighs> All right, let's get this one. Ten hours to do a solder job. Wonderful. God darn it. All right. Maybe we're at the. Uh, we're making some progress now.
Oh no, I'm Paul. I'm sorry. I've just, I, for some reason today is the day I'm using all new equipment, and so far it has been a pain, painful process. I mean, it is just infuriating um, that you cannot get. I mean, you know, I mean, I got the same soldering iron, and I cannot get it to function the way the other one did. Same company, same brand, same everything. It's just part of it, and it's frustrating. The soldering is 99% of my work, so I want something, and I pay good money for it, and expect it to work. I got four new machines in, four of them, and there's a good chance I'm sending all four of them back. I'm just surprised. I mean, they don't even reach the temperature they're supposed to. Doesn't make any sense, but that's just me. It's one of those days. But I am excited to see this thing work and be awesome. I just don't like that it's taking twice as long to do a soldering job that's freaking simple. Very simple. I mean, incredibly simple soldering job. And it seems like it's the most daunting task right now. All right, I think as far as that goes, I can make the cosmetics look good in a little bit, but right now the main thing is to make sure that everything works and fits. So far, it looks like it is going to be fine, but we'll have to test it and see first. All right, so this is the overall look of the top of the stack. The question now is camera-wise. My goal is to try and fit the camera in the eyeballs here but I'm not sure that's gonna work, and if it doesn't, then we'll have to go up, up on the top of the stack, but let's just see what we can do. All right, so let's get the receiver wired in. Uh, the top deck doesn't have anything yet. I mean, that's one of the things, is this, there's, this whole thing is kind of a design from the scratch up as far as that goes. So um, my goal here is to put the new molding system that we're doing and mold one to it. That would be a really neat way to kind of show it off and uh, and test it out here. So uh, I guess once I figure out how the camera is going to go, I will figure out uh, what kind of top canopy we're going to do. So let's see. done that's done now the camera let's see where we're gonna put this thing so we'll grab a couple extra cameras just for placement purpose and see how we want to do this I'm gonna grab a simple micro cam just because I'm curious uh, how the bolt pattern will lay out Let me just get the stand and see I think that actually might work holy cow that would be pure Sure, awesome. That works. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I think we're in business. I'm more curious to see the size of the camera I can put on there. So one second, let me see what else I can do.
Well, let's see. Okay, let's see if we can make this fit. Uh, I don't know if I have a warranty. I'll check. Uh, right now I'm just trying to see if I can get anything to fit without causing too much issue. And I've got to find a bracket for this, and that's not going to be it. So let me see if I can find a bracket that'll work. you're having a cleat desk this my whole desk is gone to the birds Yeah, it should look pretty cool. I think it's going to look neat. It's just, <laughs> don't ask me to build another one for a while. Holy moly. Actually, that's not true. I'm just kidding. Whew. I think this camera's going to actually come out nice. If I can get the props, if I can get it to miss the props, which I think it will. I think we might be in good shape, so let's see.
close. That is close, but it clears it. So hey, it's good. Don't bend your props though. So last three wires for the most part. So let's see what we got, folks. fit this back on and see how it all comes together. We'll go over props and stuff, Paul. I mean, it's uh, we'll definitely go over all that here in just a little bit. Just um, right now, uh, I'm just wanting to make sure that I can get all the components to fit and work properly first. So hang tight a second. So, outside of the antenna and some sort of a canopy, which we'll see about the canopy, what the option is. So far, what we have is a quad that looks like this. Now, let me see. Let me kind of switch camera angles now and see what we got. <sighs> okay, so, I mean, this has really, really been a pain. Um, and, I mean, it's still not finished, but it's getting there. Uh, I'll do the um, antenna outline here in a little bit and layout in a little bit, most likely. But uh, what you can at least see from it, and I don't know if this gives you a good angle or not, but here's the frame, right? And there it is on the flip side. And then this is what it ended up looking like, okay? So you've got the, um, you got the camera sitting there. And let me go ahead and just throw these on just so we can get an idea of uh, clearance and everything else. But um, I think this is coming out. It's pretty neat. It just took... My God, we're at two hours and 30 minutes. This thing should have been an hour 15 max. Um, so um, obviously there's some hiccups on it, um, design, not design-wise, but just getting everything wired in. And my equipment today is not functioning great for some reason. It's my curse for the Friday. Um, but I do want to show you guys what, we're, what it looks like. So let me see where. Uh, oh, I need one more prop. That's a good thing. With me. I've got the battery, so we can test the um, setup. Uh, so let me see. Let me just go ahead and get back to this real quick. There, we'll do that. That way you're not staring at the air. Oh man, I had a coffee too. God darn it! All right. 
yeah, I know. I know. It just, man, I tell you, boy, anything that could go wrong today was going wrong. But, yep. Uh, you know, that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the fact that the design and everything at the end is going to come out awesome. <laughs> Sometimes I get challenged. Uh, okay, so um, here's what we're looking at. Now, the problem is, is I cannot find um, the last prop. I put it down and hold on. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, so here is the look, except it's missing a prop. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to find one. I'm going to find it. Here, hold on. I'm not going to give up on this damn thing. I got a million props in this place. I can find one. There it is, found it. All right, so here is the last prop to give you an idea of what this is looking like. Oh, I'm gonna come in and have lunch. Okay. I'm wrapping this up here for right now in just a minute. Thanks, Mama. Mm -hmm. So here you go. Uh, this is what we've got. And let me go to a front. There we go. So uh, looks pretty mean. I think it's gonna look pretty vicious. Uh, I think it's gonna fly pretty vicious, actually. Uh, it should be pretty intense. Uh, we do clear the camera. Uh, we can we can go lower if we needed to, but we do clear the camera. Uh, so I would say that overall, um, uh, it's a successful build and design. Um, but now we got to wait to close it up. And from the top view, you're looking at this, right? Which I know you guys have already seen, but I'll try to lay it out. So this is what you're looking at from the top. I'm impressed with it so far. I, I think it's going to be great. Okay. Um, uh, uh, it's definitely unique. And uh, with that, you know, first time kind of build comes a little bit of the headaches that we've had. But uh, I'm really stoked about it. So, um, unfortunately, and, and I hope nobody gets too upset with me on this, but unfortunately, the um, I'm going to put the second part of this build. I want to have lunch. I mean, I've been... I, I, I told my wife I would have lunch with her and she just made me lunch and I haven't sat with her yet. So I'm gonna go have lunch with my wife and then I'm gonna come back and finish this with you guys. And um, two things that, uh, one of the things I do wanna mention that we're gonna give away. Uh, and, and so I, you know, I, I, will, I promise I will make this happen is um, uh, I wanna give away the original frame, this one. Uh, and I will give away the second frame of this I made two whoops whoops there we go. I made two of these right um, and so uh, I thought that it would be only fair to give the second one away um, so I have I was cutting it yesterday so I'm gonna go ahead and give the frame away and I'll give this one away too. somebody wants to use a lighter build this would be good at a two millimeter I did fly this so it does fly um, so if you want to hang tight I'm just gonna go grab a bite with my wife and, uh, and and get some lunch real quick and then we'll come back and finish this off and, uh, and such, okay? Sorry guys, it was supposed to be all done in one one thing, but this thing took a little longer than expected. So, I will see you guys shortly, um, uh, and uh, we will be, uh, we will give some of these, uh, we will give the two frames away, at, at the very least two of the frames away. And then Paul, you'll see this done just a little bit, okay guys? So hang tight, we'll be back shortly. Maybe I'll find a soldering iron that works. All right, I'll see you shortly guys, bye.